Namaskar. A very happy, cheerful and blissful Guru Purnima to all of you, to all my spiritual brothers and sisters, to all spiritual aspirants and all those who are watching this video. Happy Guru Purnima. It's a great day and for all spiritual aspirants and uh, disciples, it is the most auspicious day to remember your Guru, to remember the ideas which Guru has propagated, to remember and practice more and more of the spiritual discipline which he has showered upon his disciples. I pay my respect and reverence to our Guru Shri Shri Anand Murti Ji on this day who is our Guru, our most beloved Guru. We have been associated with his spiritual discipline and his spiritual practices and the entire process of spiritual elevation since so many years now. So today I would like to talk about a few of his ideas about spirituality, about the art and practice of spiritual life. So let's begin with a very simple and a plain uh, question. What is Dharma? It's a very important question also and uh, in today's times the word dharma has taken a very different meaning. I'm sure you all are aware of the clashes, the fights, the quarrels between people of two different dharmas as if there can be a fight between dharmas. So does that really mean that those who are fighting and quarreling against each other are the followers of their own dharma? So what does this dharma mean? Many people who are not religious or spiritual, who have started calling themselves as uh, atheists and agnostics, they are completely surprised and they are bewildered by this fight amongst people who are on the path of dharma. So let us see and uh, understand this topic. Let us go into the depth of this word dharma as explained by Gurudev Shri Shri Anand Murti Ji. The word dharma which is originally a Sanskrit word has its root, root verb or the root word dhra, dhr, dhra, dhra and r, dhra. And what is the meaning of this word dhra? What does it indicate? It means that which holds, that which holds. Also, it means the inner characteristics of any object or entity, inner property of any object or entity. For example, fire has a dharma of burning, giving heat and light. That is the dharma of fire. It is the inner characteristic of fire. The inner characteristic of uh, water is to quench thirst. This is the way Gurudev explains. So inner characteristics modern science also has discovered like carbon has one characteristic, oxygen has one, nitrogen has one, hydrogen has one, helium has one and so on and so forth. And what is the inner characteristic of a human being? Because we are human beings and we have our own dharma. The dharma of plant life is different. Dharma of animal life is different and dharma of mineral life is different. Dharma of a sand particle is different. So what is the dharma of a human being? And what holds a human being? What holds the human structure? This is the pertinent question in which an inquirer should go deep and seek an answer then what is it that holds the human structure? And what is it which can be called as the inner characteristics of a human being? Long back it has been discovered that inner property, inner characteristic of human being is the soul, the Atman. It is to know thyself. Knowing oneself or knowing thyself is the inner want of a human being. And coming to the point of the holding power, what holds the human structure? What is it that which doesn't 
exist then the human structure will collapse and fall apart or tear apart see in simple words the human body is reflected in mind so mind holds the human body if there is no mind there is no one to conceive and no one to perceive this human structure which is made of 10 organs or 10 uh, sensory organs and uh, motor organs mind has got several layers it has been discovered that mind which imagines is called one mind which is the chitta part of mind another which does action is the aham part of the mind and then there is mahat the i feeling that holds the mind that holds that mind which holds the human body and there is another entity beyond the mahat tatva which is the seer i that knows that it exists and the reflection happens there at the last last stage so that reflective plate which ultimately reflects the all aspects of mind which reflects the human body that entity is to be known that entity holds the human structure for example cup what is it that holds a cup it is the space within if the space is not within that cup cannot be held that cup will not be called as cup it can become something else and of course the interatomic space and the intermolecular space within or the condensation within that makes an object which we call as cup a small example so gurudev says that it is the atman to be known which can be called as the dharma of an individual or dharma of human life now there is no point in uh, fighting and quarreling with others when you are on the path of knowing dharma so today we have understood one simple aspect of dharma which is just to know oneself and to know oneself one has to go within oneself and how to go within oneself how to touch the entity which is the last reflecting plate inside human structure how to do that we'll talk about in in another video in another episode right now the basic definition of dharma must be kept in mind it is the soul within which is to be touched and this movement is called as psycho spiritual movement in the next uh, session i'll explain the four different longings of human beings and how dharma which can be called as psycho spiritual movement has to be practiced first in theory it has to be understood and then the practical part is to be learned from a teacher from a guide and then one has to keep on doing it thank you so much for listening and once again a very cheerful and blissful guru purnima to all of you my heartfelt namaskar to all